Danish researcher Brian Arley Jacobson's analysis from 2020 estimates that 256,000 people or 4.4% of the country's population were Muslims in Denmark. But, in 2019, the World Population Review estimated that 313,713 Muslims, or roughly 5.40% of the population, resided in Denmark. However, the number has been rising over the past few decades as a result of numerous immigration waves, that include both multiple migrants and asylum seekers. In the 1970s, Muslims arrived from Turkey, Pakistan, Morocco and the former Yugoslavia, to work. In the 1980s and 1990s, the majority of Muslim arrivals were refugees and asylum seekers from Iran, Iraq, Somalia, and Bosnia. In addition, some ethnic Danes have converted to Islam in 2017. Close to 3,800 Danish Muslims were converts to the religion. One of the first Danish converts to Islam was Nud Hombo, a journalist and writer of Desert Encounter, in which he detailed his first-hand account of the Libyan genocide. In 2014, Brian Ali Jacobson said that, the largest ethnic group of Muslims in Denmark were Turks, 22.2% of all Danish Muslims, followed by Iraqis, 10.2%, Lebanese, 9.5%, Pakistanis, 8.7%, Somalis, 7.3%, and Afghanis, 6.3%. An estimated 47.4% of Danish Muslims live in Greater Copenhagen, 9.4% in Aarhus, and 5.5% in Odense. However, according to Danish census in 1880, there were eight Muslims in the country. Now, there are approximately 256,737 Muslims lives in Denmark in 2022, in which the asylum seekers comprise about 40% of the Danish Muslim population, and others are immigrated and converted Muslims. The Newsrat Zahan Mosque is the first mosque to be built in Denmark in 1967. According to a survey conducted in the mid-2000s on mosques in Denmark, there were about 115 mosques in Denmark. According to a 2017 survey, there was an increase in the number of mosques in Denmark, from 115 to about 170, in 2017, which represented an increase of almost 50%. In February 2016, the Maria Mosque in Copenhagen, Denmark's first female-run mosque, was founded by Shirin Kankan, it has only female imams. The mosque is open to male and female worshippers, with the exception of Friday prayers, which are only open to female worshippers. Kankan became Scandinavia's first female imam, when she opened that mosque.